nice. G'day everyone, I'm back at home after a bit of a trip to Northwest New South Wales. My favourite place in the entire world to hurt because there's good reptiles everywhere. Because we were gone for four nights, we had a fair bit of content. Yeah, like there's a lot of rain in the desert. The, the conditions for herping were not there. The conditions for just watching Mother Nature be awesome, 100%. We got a drenching. It's humid, it's warm. It feels good for snakes actually. Too bad we're not stopping here where we've still got some sunlight so we're gonna drive well into the night so that we don't get there at a stupid time tomorrow. A little bit of a hiccup, hopefully not that big a deal, but the uh, the overdrive light's flashing, which is fun. So we're gonna see what we can do to fix that. Yes, here's the good old mighty Murray Bridge. Look at that. Cool looking. They're worse places to be, if I'm completely honest. Flowers. God, come up and eat the duck, that would be awesome. It really is absurd how massive the Murray is here. Like, it is so wide. The thing is so wide. Like, that's maximum zoom. That's directly across the river. First night, we got stuck in Mildura because we had some problems with the car. So the verdict is it's like a solenoid thing with the car going on. I'm not a car person. It's nothing to do with the solenoid, the transmission, and then this and then that, and then the, the four-wheel drive good but overdrive bad. A beautiful darling and a branch full of water. Look at that. Magnificent. Last time we were here it was bone dry. I think every time we've ever been here, it's been completely bone dry. Perfect python country, but too bad we couldn't stay here for the night. Anyway, we're going to walk around under these bridges looking for pythons, see how we go. After failing to find any pythons, we continued our travels up north, and as you can very clearly see, it just kept getting wetter and wetter and wetter. All the creeks running through the desert like this were just absolutely chockers with water. But this had well and truly broken the bank and was just a raging torrent. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. She is very bloody wet, people. This is the Silver City Highway, and she's moister than an oyster. That's wet. Find this sign. Whenever you guys find this sign, there won't be a raging torrent next to it, I can show you. into day two we finally found our first herb good old faithful inland bearded dragon we only found two of these in the entire trip which is interesting of course one of them was up the tree because that's what they do weird animals we've got two herbs in rapid succession maybe that means we're getting some luck back Second night, we got to Mutawinji National Park, the only people there, because everyone else was like, oh, it's bad conditions, let's not camp, which would be smart, right? I have no idea what's going on here with these little Dutella. I think there's a bit of an epic fight going on. He's eating him. Is this cannibalism? Whoa. He twitched, he got rained on. 
Oh, cool. The fight is done. They are done. This little fella got his booty handed to him. You, you're just a bully. Another Gahira with an autonomized tail. Again, I can't tell these things apart, eh? They all look the same. A red tree frog, kitty. First frog of the night, surprisingly. It's wet as. Heard a green tree frog. It's not a particularly red one. He's a red tree frog. Frogo species number two, little Sedels. He's a bit scared. Open your eyes, dude. These guys lie dormant in the sand and only come out when the rain falls. Let's go! Cool. Best frog in the world. Australian green tree frog. Australian green tree frogs are probably my favourite species of frog. They get really big, especially as far as Australian species go. These guys are about 11 centimetres long if you get a really big one, which we did. This next one is really quite large. These frogs are big enough to be eating stuff like snakes and small lizards, even mice and dunnarts and marsupials and cool things like that. Look at this. Guys, this is not your camp. Guys, that's our staff. Come on. What are you doing? You. What are you thinking? Look at him. <laughs> the chuff's going to come over and say that. Come here. Come here, Chuff Lee. Look at him. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> the first herp of the day was this beautiful little barking gecko that I found under a piece of tin. Very unfortunate that I had to get a bit of footage of him during the day instead of at night time, seeing as though these guys are nocturnal, but it was good to see these little cuties anyway. Got awesome colours and great big fat tails. Huge eyes, super cute. So, in this bush here, we've got ourselves. A Tenophorus spotted dome, let's see if I can get him to come out. Oh, he's pretty too. He's really nice. But there's one, there's a bit of a better look. Not quite as pretty as the other one. The other one was a male, I believe. This one's a female, but they're super fast. And she's next to a track that's definitely not hers. And that's going to round up episode one of our Northwest New South Wales adventure. Thanks for tuning in. Next episode should be up next week, same time, on a Sunday. Look forward to it. I'm pretty sure it's quite exciting. Let's go! Let's go! A good find!